All right, let's get to Marky from Tennessee. Welcome up here on the air. Hey, good morning or good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm. It's all right. I'm nervous. I'm having. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety myself these days with a lot of my work at my work. So there's a new guy at my work who's sort of taking all the heat away from me and my professional life. His name's Kyle, and everybody loves him and thinks he's doing so well, and sort of making me feel a little bit forgotten. That's okay. Well. Basically, we're in my job right now. I do the cold open for the Not Even a Show, so I was hoping you're you're sort of a cool guy. Maybe I could get you to do a cool banger of a Let's Start the Show, and maybe a cool one like Let's Start the Shoe, well, like say since, it like that or something. Since I don't know what it's about, I'm not going to lend my voice to it unless I know. So uh, you'd have to. Well, it's my job. It's the, it's the cold open for the Not Even a Show. We're in it right now, and if you don't say it, then everyone's gonna be singing Kyle's praises again and saying, "Oh, Murky can't do it. Kyle did it fine." And then and then who knows what happens? So can you please just say, "Let's start the shoe." Uh, I won't say that because I don't know who you are. I don't know what it's about. Okay. I'm Murky. I'm Murky from a. All right. Let's move along to Scott from Erie, Pennsylvania. Scott, welcome. You're on the air. Sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. I'm sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. I'm sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. We've got the pranks, we've got the songs, and all of that is good to go. But the fact remains that this shit is still not a show. Hey everybody, and to a lesser extent, hello everybody. It's me, MMC, aka Main Man Chris, aka Main Motherfucker. And I apologize, my barber took the week off, and so I've got sort of a wild hair situation, and I also have some sort of troubling news as well. It turns out Colonel Dufree is trying to say that he has squatters' rights over the channel based on his guest hosting a few weeks ago, and there's a huge legal battle going on now, and I might very well lose the channel, but I haven't lost it yet, so let's get into this week's episode, and it's an absolute beauty, as we've got calls to Rudy Giuliani and Ed Till. Plus, the tailgater finds a new friend. First though, Sebastian Gorka loves to infer that he has a huge penis, but he's never come out and said it before. That is until this week, when he took my call during a break and told me specifically that he has a massive penis. Check it out. Can you uh, kill a mics and give me one? Hi, who's this? Oh, hi, Dr. G with the big head. How are ya? Good. Oh, is this the loser in his mom's basement with a small penis? Oh, is this the loser in his mom's basement with a small penis? Yeah, that's me. I got the tiny meat. Oh, that's so sad. Don't how, let it get to you. How big is really? your dick? How big is your dick? You talk about it a well, lot. Do you have you, a huge hammer? You say, you, say, you say appendages. You know, they say appendages, appendages are proportional. So what do you think? Have a guess. You're so obsessed with the size of my head. So yeah. how big do you think my other head is? Uh, I would guess probably about 10 inches. You got, you got a hammer or what? Dude, you're getting close. You're getting close. Well, are you jealous? So is it 11 inches? Dude. 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 That would be indiscreet of me to tell you, but why are you obsessed with my penis? There's no way, Dr. G, that it is a foot long. You tell me you got a foot long hog? <sighs> You're never going to know, dude, because I don't swing that way. Oh, uh, hey, I'm Dr. Sorry G. To say. Congratulations yeah. on being a, working Thanks. for the president, though. Congrats on that, my friend. Sorry that your Thank you. Sorry that your head's so much bigger than the rest of your body. It must be hard to sort of keep up and make sure you don't fall over when you're walking do you around. Have, do, you have a, do you have a very small head? My head's are, pretty are you big. Like that, that, My head's pretty you, big. It's like it's like a big head for a human being, but it's not like it, your that, head. You know the trouble with your head is it sounds empty. Yeah. Now get out from your mom's basement and get in life. Goodbye. Bye.
Ever since we found out that Rudy Giuliani has a radio show, he's become one of our biggest targets. He's absolutely terrible at hosting radio. I really mean it. He's the worst host that I've ever encountered, and we've been bombarding him with pranks about him marrying his cousin. One thing that hasn't happened yet, though, is he hasn't yet gotten a call from Prank Stallone. That's me, and he did this week. Check it out. So let's go to Jason in Long Island City. Hey, Rudy, thank you for taking my call, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jason. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of your program. All this stuff that's happening right now with the Woodward, with the book with Mr. Woodward and the quotes, and I was listening to the uh, audio, and I'll tell you, it's got me feeling all kinds of ways. And I'm glad you brought up the fact that you experienced something similarly with 9-11, right? You would experience a similar situation, right? Sure. I mean, of, co- of course. I mean, not only 9-11, but even with... Uh... I mean, I probably handled my career as I handled the arrest of Hinckley. I mean, going back to when I was a kid. But yeah, the fact that you have insight into it is important to me, I think, because I found myself reading this and thinking about it and trying to figure it out. And I thought, you know, I would love to call Rudy because there's a question I have about this that right. I think only you could answer, honestly. Tell me. Uh, what's it like having sex with your cousin? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so Got him. You know, if you actually have time for this, I really would suggest a good psychiatrist. It could help you maybe straighten your life out and give yourself a purpose. Poor, poor sad guy. Gail in Westchester County. Westchester County. Westchester County. Oh my gosh. Mr. Giuliani, Mayor Giuliani. Yes, ma'am. What an honor. What an honor. Uh, I, Jason, I, I, I forgive you for that. He's just off the wall. But anyway, um, Mayor? I'm here. I am a man who fucked his cousin. My name is Rudy. Giuliani I said I do to my own bloodline my name is Rudy Giuliani his name is Rudy Giuliani The last couple of weeks over on the Patreon episodes, there's been a bit of a brouhaha unfolding with newcomer Ed Till. He banned me from his show and then claimed he didn't ban me and said I could call in any time, but then any time I did call in, he would just pretend to take my call and then say he couldn't hear me. Classic JJ tactics. That's why we decided to have some other people call in and confront him about it, and Ed Till revealed something that is truly amazing. You're not going to believe it. Check it out. Everything's fine with Ed Till. 329-135-105. It is Spencer in Lake Mary. Hey, Spencer. Hey, Ed. Uh, how's it going, man? Hey, it's going great. Welcome to the show. Yeah, so I, I've been a fan uh, for about like six months now. I discovered the station from a friend. I'm actually kind of from up north, just moved down here actually, but uh, really, really, really digging the stuff, man. Oh, dude. Welcome uh, to the warm weather. Where up north uh, do you hail from? So I was actually from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Frigid, single-digit yeah, wind yeah. chills, baby. Yeah. So, uh, welcome. Oh, yeah. And uh, what are you doing? Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, you know, I would love to feel that all over again. 1977, I came down here first time, and there's only one first time. So, what did you? Uh, what were you looking forward to doing when you got to Florida? And are you doing it? I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, right? Like I was totally looking towards uh you know the beach life and stuff like that you you get so used to the uh the kind of like myopic weather of the north that you want to really enjoy the the sunshine and everything and uh, i also wanted to go to disney that was another thing that i wanted to do just because i had never gone 
So, welcome. It's oh, nice to yeah. have you. And you like the station? The station's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, I'm a lover of radio, not just my own show. This station is on fire. It's a really great station. Oh, yeah. And honestly, um, I, I do like, you know, the, the kind of uncensored aesthetic that you have. Uh, I think censorship is a really big problem these days, and I think free speech is really, really important, more now than ever. Couldn't agree with you uh, more. It wasn't even called cancel culture uh, the first time I got canceled. I got canceled years ago. And, I I mean, honestly, I I do have a question for you, uh, and it kind of pertains to that, kind of, that whole idea. Um. So why are you censoring Roy, you cowardly has been? Oh, <laughs> Roy's welcome. He, do you have him uh, in the room with you? Are you guys making out right now? <laughs> are, you, are you naked and touching each other's peepees? You could put him on the phone. Put him on. Ah! And the second guy is going to be Roy. Let's see if this is Roy. It says Mike up there. Mike, are you Roy? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank no, I, God. I, thank I don't think I want to be. Beautiful. Go for it. Uh, what's up today? How you doing? Uh, not much. I just wanted to say you're too old and scared to do radio now. This show absolutely sucks shit, dude. Oh, all right. Get the button on that, Heather. Our little, the, uh, we have a homo erotic club. Uh, Roy. And, uh, you know, I spoke to Roy's county prosecutor. You believe this last week? He's got a, um, he's got a little problem up there. Uh, I won't say exactly where he is. And um, he threatened uh, one of the members of our staff. So I, I've been in talk radio for a long time. It, the bravest people are always on a phone where they've dialed star 82 or something, and they think you can't find them. So, um... Did a, a quick little Google search on Roy, and Roy's friends up there have been in trouble with the law. Uh, we, uh, we're just good citizens, Roy. We're, uh, you know, we're all engaged. I think we all have to look out for one another. So we, uh, we will file the. Uh, we were told last week if he gives you a problem, uh, to let them know. <laughs> Roy, we're very sorry. I do understand that we frighten you from where you appear to live. It's in a rural area of America, that's all I'll say. And um, we understand. We do. It's very threatening. And you should feel threatened by us. We absolutely are coming after you. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> you won't be able to cling to your kidney machine in Idaho uh, much longer, okay? So, um, I appreciate hearing from you. It's a, a very good uh, to know that you're there, and we can keep a good eye on you. Thanks. The tailgater is an alcohol-loving sports fan, mostly alcohol-loving, but sort of a sports fan who calls into sports radio shows and has a bit of a relationship with a man named Patrick Netherton, but he's always looking for new friends and tailgate enthusiasts, and I'll tell you what, he found it this week. Check it out. Let's head to the Back in Action hotline and say what up. What's happening? What's happening? Hey, boys, I'm on the air, boys. Uh, yeah, can I help you? Hey, what's happening? It's Gator calling in. How are you, fellas? Sorry, you seem a little bit like I'm just calling in. I'm looking to be a caller. You seem like you're upset with me right out the gate. Not at all. Not upset at all. Had a hard time uh, hearing you, Gator. Oh, uh, that's thank goodness. Okay, good, good, good. I love you. I love the studio you guys got going on. I'm a, I'm the Gator, is short for the Tail Gator, and then the song will play now. He's a motherfucking tail gator. Ah, 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 okay, all right. Yeah. Well, what's on your mind, buddy? In, well, I'm into the tailgating side of things. You guys ever been to a good old tailgate? Been to a good old tailgate uh, a time or I've, two. I've been known to show up at one every once in a while. Yeah, he likes free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
tailgate. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I, I ain't never brought anything to a tailgate. That's one of the beauties of it. I don't show up with no meat or no damn beers. I just I just drinking what everybody else got. I, I put it this I put it this way. I put on a tailgate out tailgate. Walls, are you calling the hotline right now? Because this no. this sounds this no. sounds a lot like but, you. But no, I put on a tailgate for about uh, let's see for about 17 years out there in Tailgate City. Ooh, I love that. Now, I have a question for you. This is true, serious question then, because I don't talk to a fellow true tailgater very often. What are you doing nowadays? No tailgating going on. How are you filling that void? Well, usually on Saturdays, we're doing, uh, 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 you know, well, I said we're doing, you know, uh, pregame stuff. Uh, I'm drinking just a liquor out of a bottle in a storage closet. That's my, my <laughs> old home tailgate. The home tailgate, they call it. Nah, but seriously, things are pretty sad for me. I'm in a shared living situation. My wife left me. <laughs> well, that that uh, that seems as if uh, that could be a good thing and a bad thing there, Gator. It's a bad thing, 100% a bad thing. Man, we are really hitting it off, though. I can feel the, the sort of the back and forth we got going on. This is a match made in heaven, dare I say. Well, it depends what your definition of heaven is there, Gator. My definition of heaven is a liquor bottle in a storage closet. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Kid, though, I, I will call back, and I, and, it, and I will call back. Thanks, guys. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Bye. See you, buddy. Uh, Gator. Chiming in uh, on the uh, Back in Action hotline. And uh, he sounds like he's got life figured out. Yeah. All right, everybody, that's the end, or so you think. Imagine if you've been watching every week and you didn't realize that there's bonus episodes. Anyways, check out the bonus over at patreon.com slash not even a show. There's a bonus podcast, a weekly podcast and weekly bonus episodes. It's honestly worth it for $5 a month if you can afford to support and we really do appreciate it. This week, we've got the man mindset guys in the Flat Earth Society and an absolute snap call, a Chris snap call where I snap on an anti-masker. Anyways, uh, hopefully I'm here next week. Hopefully we don't lose the channel. We've got the best lawyer in the business, Dim Whitley, working on it. So fingers crossed and uh, and fingers crossed that you are uh, giving yourself a break because guess what? You deserve it. I'm looking at you. All right. Be kind. Bye.